Season 2, Chapter 7, Italian Grand Prix. Malachi Wilson has pulled off the unthinkable at Monza. With Alpha Tower being upgrades for this weekend, the Brit pulled out all the stops on Saturday to line up P3 behind the two McLarens. Despite a slow start to the race, he quickly gains ground and starts to chase the race leader, Antonio Giovinazzi, who's on course for a home victory. It's time for the Italian Grand Prix once again, here at the beloved and iconic Autodromo Nazionale di Monza. With the lowest downforce and drag of any circuit in the season, expect to see drivers making the most of the slipstream effect here today. With top speeds up to 215 miles per hour and an average lap speed of around 155 miles per hour, Monza's reputation as one of the fastest circuits in the sport is well earned. We have 11 corners on this 3.6 mile track with the best overtaking chance coming into the heavy braking zone of the turn one chicane. Off the back of a fantastic qualifying session, it's time to see how our starting grid looks for today's race. Lando Norris will lead us away from pole position, edging out Antonio Giovinazzi, who'll start from P2. As we continue through the rest of the grid today, we have Wilson Perez, Max Verstappen and Bottas, Hamilton, Leclerc, Sainz and Lance Stroll, Ocon, Ireland, George Russell and Ricardo, Gasly, they'll be starting further back after an earlier grid penalty, Latifi, Mick Schumacher and Yuki Tsunoda, Joe and Fernando Alonso rounds off the grid. And with preparations almost complete, let's head down to the track. Look at them go, side by side, down into Ascari, and it's Malachi Wilson who takes second place on this occasion, and he starts to chase Giovinazzi out front. Could there be a surprise victory on the cards for AlphaTauri? There's still a long way to go, but it's definitely something Malachi can pull off. Well then, moving on to start lap number six, it's Check your MOD for a decent new start, start him, he chased down Antonio Giovinazzi for the top spot, making a change to our pit winner here, we're pit on lap number 13. Our objective here is to catch the race leader before the end of the first stint. We're currently two, around, just about two seconds behind. And we've got Perez for coming in the Red Bulls behind us. So we have to do our best to keep him at bay as well as trying to pose on the Italian. So pushing further on to lap six. We've already, we've already got a major problem here. The car is already blowing smoke out the back. The turbocharger we've done is absolute last leg. It's at 85% on the wear meter. So that's going to be something I have to nurse to the end of the race. And there's a good chance we're going to even make it to the end here as we run way wide through Parabolica. We've got serious work to do here. Because I've not even got to chase you but we've also got to do it without doing too much damage to the rest of our engine because that can be crucial for our, us even making the check a flag, let alone finish on the podium. So let's move on further up to lap, lap number 9 in the Grand Prix. Perez has closed up a decent amount, we still at that same time, but he's going to close in here. And we've lost more time to Giovinazzi. Perez is now our main concern, just trying to hold on to second place while the Italian continues to pull off into the distance. He's almost got a 3 second lead now. And Perez may have DRS on here, on us here, we're not sure. We've got, we've got our ERS deployed, we only got so much of that left, we're down to 20% for those things. So essentially Perez will catch us and he's going to be a crucial thing we have to avoid throughout this one. We get a warning for exceeding the check limits for Ascari. We're still going to try and do our best to try and close back in on Giovinazzi. As we push on to the start with lap number 12 here, a couple of guys behind us who are looking to be making their way to pits. Norris and Verstappen both stopping here. Of course we are getting to the end of our pit window, so it's getting, it's getting close, but Giovinazzi is still 3 seconds in front of us, so it doesn't look like we're going to make the objective for the time being so we have got still got major work to do but, but of course I, I didn't know what was going next and then moving on to the end of Lanham 12 and the start of Lanham 13 and Giovinazzi has had enough for the time being he's going to pull into the pits and give up and stop us from changing in Perez also into the pits we've got one more lap to go here we're going to pass this lap push hard on the in lap Keep it on this battle lane in sector 2 in the sky and there it goes Nicholas Latifi around Latifi goes to the full 180 the Canadian spins off at the entrance of Ascari, he's got damage to his front wing, so he's definitely had to get back to the pits for that one. But he's got to let some cars through before he gets back on the track, and he may have just got himself stuck in the gravel there as he's done so. And that could be him out of the race, and with the safety car now being deployed, this will put Malachi Wilson a huge advantage, because despite the fact the car is absolutely billowing smoke, he could actually pull this strategy and steal a race victory today. This is really happening. We have been gifted the absolute perfect scenario here as the last driver in the lead pack who is yet to make the stop. In we come for what our first and what should be only stop of the Grand Prix. Here on lap number 13 onto a set of medium tyres which take us to the end of the race. Of course in the, in the original strategy we're going to go to a set of hard tyres but the mediums are there for us to use. We're going to use them onto those yellow wall 
see whatever, whatever see there medium tight of course there is a big race here for Giovinazzi to make it out in front of us there is a decent chance he does so we're almost out of the pits it's, get, it's going to be very tight here could we get Giovinazzi and take the lead of the race complete. it's going to be close but it looks like we're going to miss out Giovinazzi three takes the lead on the left hand side and we're going to be forced to pull in up behind him so that's still us down in second place we've gained an awful lot here we've got a huge advantage our tyres are arguably a lap fresher we're going to have full ERS once again for the restart so we push on to the end of lap number 15 here we're going to get the message now. Safety car is coming in this lap. So this is it. This is the crucial restart. If we can do this, then we can definitely try and take the race lead and try and hold on to the end. Our first victory could potentially sight here. So this race is in no way over, despite the fact that Giovinazzi has been faster throughout that first stint throughout the entire Grand Prix. So we're pushing on now. Round Parabolica to get this run on the way. We're going to close in on Giovinazzi. So close as we can get. We've come around the outside. He's trying to call. He's caught us napping there. Giovinazzi gets away. We did not get the restart. He would have wanted Giovinazzi is already, already putting away down towards turn one. New objective to capitalise on that safety car and finish on the podium. Here comes Perez who are already trying to challenge that. He's on the right-hand side going into that first corner. We're going to try and push forward here. We break a little bit early. We're back on the throttle for a second. We've overshot the first corner essentially. And Giovinazzi now gets away. Already got a yellow flag, but I think that's just everyone slowing up for turn one. Perez round our outside there. He's going to take second place away from us through cover Grande. And here comes Norris. He's not done yet. Keep an eye on Callum Milo in fifth there. who should be making a stop eventually, but he will have to back out of it. He has to back up the fight eventually. We dive to the inside of Perez, going into the chicane, and that is us back up into P2. But last year, Vanatti has already, already got almost two seconds on us. There's a yellow flag once again here through the last chicane. And it looks like we might actually have a problem with someone in the back there. I'm not entirely sure. The yellow flag is still out. The green flag now out for us. And we've got the winner. Charles Leclerc is out the session. He's got a mechanical problem. And he's a guitar exas. That's us now down to 18 runners. Of course, the TV's of time. We're out the first safety car. It looks like we're all good for this one. I doubt that we'll bring that second one here just after back to racing, but Giovinazzi is almost two seconds in front now, he is two seconds in front, and Perez is now our primary concern, keep an eye on Norris behind him as well, we have to be very careful, we've got a lot of VRS left in the store, but of course we've used all of the point for this lap, so we're going to have to wait until next time, until we cross the line again, for lap number 17 in order for us to actually do it, we've got to hold on to this position for 11 laps here, so as long as we can, it was Verstappen now taking fifth away from Callum Eilat, and I'm assuming that the Aston Martin will pull off into the pits, and that will be the end of his I'm up front. Perez is closing in here. We've got the DRS back open again. Here comes Perez on the charge. Does he even need the DRS to go for? He's on the left hand side. Into we're going to have the inside going into that first corner. Norris is right there with us. We're going to break way later than Perez does. And that is us shutting the door on him through turn one. And there we go. That is all secure. Back up into P2. Definitely all good for the time being. So we're still doing a good job here. We've got to keep on holding on. Moving on to start lap number 18. Okay, here comes the DRS. This is what we didn't want to DRS. see. We've got ERS going once again. Is Perez is very faster than us. So we've got a warm power unit and no DRS, but Perez is going to be charging us throughout this whole lap, he gets his first real taste of what, what's happening with the DRS, we're going to have to use the ERS we've got here in order to keep him at pay for the time being, but luckily he's still about a, almost a second behind us, so he is closing him regardless, but I don't think he's close enough to make a move into Ascari, because the AI always back out going through Ascari, so I'm not quite sure what's up with that, we've overshot the corner a little bit there, he's going to lose a little bit more time over the curb slightly, but we're still a good Giovin, actually two seconds in front as we continue on here, this, this one's getting very tight, it's a very enjoyable race for us so far. Here comes Perez looking to the right hand side, going into Parabolica, he backs out, we're going to slam the door on the Red Bull driver, and that should be us holding on to P2 for the time being. But Perez can have a good run at us with the DRS back towards turn one. He's got a good run at us anyway, even without the rear wing being open, and now he's got past us, you know, and that is him through him into P2. We're going to have to go on the charge here, we have to break very late going into turn one, we have to be careful because here comes Norris on the right hand side, so we have to be very precise this move. We get past Norris, we try and can't outbreak Perez, unfortunately. We could have gone for that move, but we've essentially shoved Perez through turn two there. But still, we've held on to P3 for the time being. So our next target, regardless, is just Perez. So pushing on out of the two Lesmos now. Now we're going to have a taste of the DRS and the ERS on Perez. And we're right there with him, though. And Perez already getting away, so he's got a good exit here. So we're going to have to use everything we've got in order to close him down and get back past him into a score. It's going to be tight. Are we going to be able to make it? It's going to be close. We're going to duck to the inside and just about go over the curve there. And Perez is way overshot the corner. And that puts it down to P4. Norris gets through. And we push on to that number 22 now. Giovinazzi with a four second lead. We've overshot Pascari. We've gone wide on the exit. And here comes Norris on the charge. He's half a second behind. And that gap will quickly evaporate to so make our way towards Parabolica for the 22nd time in this Italian Grand Prix. Norris ducking to the right hand side. Does he have enough? Not enough of a run to manage to squeeze past. We're going to stay in front just for the time being. But he's going to have the DRS off once again. I feel like this is a huge issue for us. This straight line speed later on in the race. We did so well in qualifying, and now the engine's worn out, so it's had its, it's, had its time. We've got to hold on for the next five laps in order to get, hold on to both Lando and Perez. Lando's got past. Perez is already looking to the inside. We're going to go way late on the brakes against Lando. He's locked up going into turn one. We've managed to hold on to things. We've gone slightly wide there, but we're all good on the uh, throttle getting away from him again. 
So that's us into P2 once again, but Norris is coming right back at us in Curva Grande. He's closing in, heading down in towards the next chicane. This will be it tight. Will he look to the outside? He does look to the outside. He's going into the corner, but he backs out. We're going to move back over to cover him, and that should be us all secure through the chicane in P2. So decent job from us there. We've got a couple more laps to go now. Pushing on now to the start of lap number 25. Just three more laps to go. Giovinazzi's got this race all but one. Finally, there's no mechanical failures for him in the last few laps. Norris dies past. He's left, him, he's left him a little space on the outside. But he's managed to get through there. And there goes Perez into turn number one, trying to get second place from, sorry, I'm trying to get third place from us. We hold him off with, with bang wheels with Norris there, so we've gone for a position we really shouldn't have gone for. And Norris is getting away regardless. And Perez is down the inside, so we can't duck back into line behind him. He's head through Kerber Grande. We're going to be on the outside. This is not looking good for us. We're losing places here. And we've just just over two and a half laps to go. We need to get back onto the podium in order to complete the chats. So we're going to duck to the inside of Perez into the chicane. Nice and smooth there. And that is us back in front of him. And we've got to try and chase Norris now. He's going to have to, we're going to have the DRS on him here. So we're going to be at the advantage. We can't use too much DRS. We haven't got, haven't got much left. In up towards the, first, the second Lesmo. And through out the second Lesmo into the DRS zone we come. We open up the ERS. But Norris is still fast enough. This is a problem we haven't dealt with against Perez. We managed to get Perez just about, but Norris, is, we're no match for him. He's got one of the fastest cars in F1 right now. We've cut the corner slightly there. We really should be given a warning, maybe a penalty for that. We've managed to get away with things here. We're going to try and get past Norris on the ERS here. But to see the amount of straight line speed that McLaren has, I don't know if he's using the ERS or what, but he's still in front of us here. We're not close enough. Can we try and dive to the inside of Parabolica? Nope, think better of it. Stay in line. We've got a bit wide on, on the exit, and Norris is getting away from us here. So we're going to, we're going to have to DRS once again, but I'm not sure whether it would be enough for us to sneak past him. We've got very little ERS left that we may actually run out of it at this point going down in the very last steps of the energy store and it looks like Norris has us for the time being. We're going we're gonna to have just over, just, just about, just under two laps out to have a go at him but Norris is quickly getting away from us regardless as we push on now to the, to the end of the last lap. We're midway through the last lap of the Grand Prix. Norris is almost a second in front. Giovinazzi now is a couple of corners away from his first home victory. We're closing on Norris here through us go. We've cut the corner slightly. So I don't think it'll be enough. Norris is going to get us here. So we're going to hold on with what we've got left. Try and beat the step into the finish line. It's going to be very tight. He's closing in on us. Will he have enough to try and make one move off the last corner? We've seen how good other teams are, especially the Red Bull and the McLarens, of that final corner. Giovinazzi's won the race. Norris is going to come home in second, but Verstappen has nothing left for us. He's closing in a bit, but it's not doing enough. We're going to come home, take P3, and our second podium of the season at the team's home race, while McLaren finishing a 1-2 in front of us, the same way they did in 2021 with Ricardo and Norris. Once again, the Brit comes home second for McLaren, but it's us in third place, and that's who we want to see, our second podium of the season. That should definitely get some more teams' attention. Giovinazzi takes victory at home for McLaren. He's done absolutely wonderfully today. I mean, we, we chased him for the entire race, and that, but that restart, he definitely got us. He got, had us beat, and that was all he needed to really pull away and claim the victory. There was no challenging him throughout today. So he picks up the win. I believe that's his first win for McLaren. He's done really good, really good stuff today. So here's your winner then from Norris in second place and us in third. That is, if I'm not mistaken, our third podium of our career. So very good stuff to see. And hopefully that will so get, that, that get some attention from some more teams. So Giovinazzi then the winner, followed by Norris in second, us in third. Verstappen comes on the fourth, beating Perez in fifth, Gasly sixth, Bottas seventh, Hamilton eighth. Alonso 9th and signs in 10th. So all in all, really a race for us. I really enjoyed it. If you enjoyed it, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and share around with your mates. See if they if they like F1, then make sure to share around with them. And with that, you guys, that wraps up another episode of the Prodigy. So I shall see you next time. Thank you guys for watching, and goodbye. Malachi sadly could not capitalize on the chance to take his first F1 victory, but brings the car home in third for his second podium of the season. Once again, his name may be brought up in a few more team meetings as the F1 circus nears the closing rounds of the 2023 season.